Hello again guys and welcome to uh, another uh, New Year's video. In fact, it is New Year's, so Happy New Year's Eve. Or well, yeah, New Year's Eve. Um, so I wanted to go over my uh, top 10 most anticipated, well not 10, I, don't, I could even conjure up 10 for this list. Uh, but I wanted to go over a couple of uh, most anticipated releases of 2024. Um, these aren't in any particular order. Uh, cause there really is only two I'm very passionate about here. Uh, so, and then I'm also going to go over a couple of movies that I just want, uh, updates on, you know, or I want to hear progress about. So, uh, to kick it off, obviously, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I don't even have to talk about this. I'm really looking forward to it. I got to visit the set earlier this year of it um or well i went to new york saw them film a little bit um but uh i'm really excited for it obviously uh so hopefully i'm in the background somewhere um but we'll see um the merchandising is starting to ramp up a little bit it's starting to pop up in stores so very excited for that as you get closer to the re release you'll see some stuff start to pop up back here um but, yeah, so, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, it's my first one, very excited for it. Hope we get some good promotional tie-ins for it. Um, my second one, it's another one I got to visit the set for, although, though they weren't filming for it, uh, it's Beetlejuice 2, um, because that was also filmed around here. Um, and so I traveled out a couple hours, um, went to Vermont and saw the house and the bridge and the school, um, so, which, uh, you know, the school is, like, still there and whatnot, but, um, you know, they use the same locations as the original film, which was great. Uh, but, yeah, so I got to go there, um, and yeah, so that should be coming out, uh, September, I believe they said, and it's set for a theatrical release. Um, so I'm excited for that, uh, that's my second most anticipated release. Um, it's got... Uh, most of the original cast returning. I don't think Alec Baldwin uh, and Gina Davis are returning. But um, Michael Keaton, uh, Catherine O'Hara are returning. Um, and then new additions include Willem Dafoe and Jenna Ortega. So uh, excited for that one. Um, another one I'm excited for. I don't really know. I haven't heard anything about this recently. Um, it's Knives Out 3. But... I haven't heard anything about it. I haven't heard a release date. Unfortunately, it is going to be on Netflix, it seems like, considering that's how uh, Knives Out 2 went. But hopefully we do get a theatrical release and maybe some sort of disc release for the first two um, in preparation for this one. <laughs> so, but yeah, Knives Out 3. Uh, I was a little late to the game on the first two. Uh, but hopefully we uh, do get a... Knives Out 3 in 2024, but again, haven't heard a thing about it, so, I was on my trusty sticky note, which is why I keep looking down, so, my fourth one is one that comes out very soon, it's the first movie I'm gonna go see this year, and that's Mean Girls, um, I don't really have a particular reason, I guess, other than it's a musical, and I, I like musicals, um, uh, but, yeah, Mean Girls will be coming out. Oh, I also like Tina Fey, so... Um, but that that's going to be hitting theaters this January. I think January 12th. Um, so, I'm going to be going and seeing that. Um, you know, just kind of an excuse to get me to the theater. Hopefully see that Ghostbusters trailer. <laughs> um, but um, other than that, there's not a whole lot to say. I haven't seen the original. Um, I'll probably watch the original like in the couple days leading up to it. Hopefully get me hyped up. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Tina Fey's in the original, um, so, yeah, but, yeah, Mean Girls is my fourth. My fifth is, uh, from the John Wick universe, Ballerina, uh, starring Norman Reedus in Ana de Armas, and, uh, so I don't know a whole lot about this, um, I kind of just found out that it was, like, a, a John Wick entry, uh, in preparation for this video, um, so... Uh, it, it seems to be taking place in between John Wick 3 and 4, uh, which which will allow, um, excuse me, Keanu Reeves to make appearances. So, 
uh, that will be interesting. Um, but it does feel a little shoehorned in. But I like that they're expanding the John Wick universe a little bit. The Continental was really good. I enjoyed that. Um, but I enjoyed it probably because it was more of a prequel show. Uh, so my I don't even know what one this is is the bike riders with again Norman Reedus and Austin Butler my grandma actually wants to go see this one so I'll be going and seeing it for her but uh, once I did the research on it this was actually supposed to be uh, released this year uh, I was supposed to be released like this summer and then it got pushed back because of the strike to December and then it got pushed back again to uh, like this summer so uh, yeah got delayed <laughs> um, it's Ghostbusters all over again right um but yep so uh it, it's following a group of bikers i guess i don't know a whole lot about it but i will be going and seeing it so uh, these are basically all the movies that i intend on going and seeing going into um 2024 that's like the whole list here so um, uh, my next entry uh, i know i'm kind of going through this list i don't have a whole lot to say about these uh, Smile 2. Uh, I enjoyed the first Smile. It, it's not like my favorite film of uh, 2020, what, 2022. Um, but I enjoyed it and I'm actually looking uh, quite uh, forward to seeing Smile 2. It's one of the few horror movies um, that I actually have on here. Uh, but yeah. Um, you know. I'm interested in following the, the other character, I, I believe, um, played by Kyle. I think his name is Kyle. I, I, I don't... I'll, I'll, I'll put him over here, a picture of him, his name. So, um, but, yeah. I, I'm, I'm particularly more interested in following his character than who we followed in the first movie. Um, I'm also just interested in seeing how it affects somebody else, you know. Uh, through like a complete movie right instead of just you know hearing about different people's point of views right um but yeah so uh my next movie uh is also another relatively soon release i don't know actually when this is releasing but i think it's releasing january february uh, and that's lisa frankenstein i'm really not too sure about seeing this one um the the cast intrigues me cole sprouse um and katherine newton but, uh, just the, I, I don't know too much about the plot, so, um, I don't know. The concept also kind of intrigues me, just the basic concept, but the rest of it, it kind of falls off, right? Um, I just also don't know too, too much about it, so, I might not go see it, uh, theatrically, but, I don't, I don't really know yet. Um, but in my final film, uh, which might not even be released this year, uh, because we know basically nothing about it is the untitled Jordan Peele movie. I really like Nope. I have yet to see Get Out though and Us, um, but I know quite a bit about them. Um, and I also like the Twilight Zone episodes that I've seen that he's produced. Um, so uh, I, I, I I'm excited to hear about it, but again we've heard nothing, so can't really speak on it. All right, I got three projects that I really want to hear about this year uh and hopefully get a release date for maybe 2025 um and i'm just gonna kind of go through these pretty quickly hopefully <laughs> um but the first one is scary stories to tell in the dark 2 it might be a little obvious but i like scary stories to tell in the dark um i, got, I mean i got harold right and then <sighs> these which i've never shown on camera before it's actual costume from the movie um, but, yeah, I like Scare Stories to Tell in the Dark, and I really just would love to hear news about the sequel that's been in production for the past couple of years. They're apparently writing the script still, um, but nothing yet, really, official yet. So, hopefully hear something about that soon. Um, another project I want to hear about is the Christine remake, um... Again, not much news. I'd love to get. I mean, the original is amazing, but um, it's not. It's also not 100% accurate, right? Um, like how Darnell dies is not how he dies in the book. That's for sure. Um, and I'd love to hear you know news about that. Uh, the original cast is actually very supportive of it. 
And so that's I think that's great, and that could actually be used for you know um, marketing. But yeah, I'd love to hear more about it. And uh, lastly, uh, one that you guys may have not have heard of, but um, I've read the book for it. But it's uh, the teen uh, horror uh, that's a lot like Scream, found in a cornfield. Uh, it was a great uh, book, but. Um, Kind of takes place in a small rural town, a uh, farming town, um, and uh, they got this clown mascot, and basically people just start dying. And so it was announced to get a film adaptation, and we really haven't heard anything about it. So I really want to hear more news. That's like my top most excited one because it's a new, new franchise in the making. So yeah, those are all my movies. Alright, now I know this video was a bit on the quicker side, and I apologize for that. It's because New Year's busy for me, um, and I'm recording this the day before, and I got a lot to do. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and I really hope that you guys have a happy New Year's. And just, uh, get, get on those resolutions, people. One of them, got a suggestion. Don't have to do it. I think it'd be great watch more of my videos be more comments that's all I... so thank you guys so much for watching uh have a happy new year's um if you'd be so in, you know intrigued or whatever the word is that i'm looking for um if you'd be so kind uh let me know what movies you're looking most forward to in the comments um and yeah happy new year's